Hey, I wanna talk about Breaking Bad and why it's so breaking good. <laughs> so lately I've been watching Breaking Bad. Uh, it's the second time. Uh, I watched it about five years ago and then one of the priests I live with, I was like, you're gonna watch Breaking Bad and I just got hooked back into it. If you watch Breaking Bad, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, amazing long show. And here's why I like it so much, why I think it's such a great show and it's so worth watching. Because it takes consequences of actions seriously. Well, look at the title of the show. It's called Breaking Bad. So it's about how characters and situations can, faster or slower, go bad or break bad. You probably know the basic outline of the show. It's about this mild-mannered chemistry teacher named Walter White who gets lung cancer. And since he's so good at science and chemistry, he starts uh, cooking methamphetamines to make money. Now, where the show starts getting interesting is when Walter, the main character, starts making one bad decision after another and it starts affecting all the people around him and he has to start making more and more bad decisions and bodies start piling up and a lot of bad things happen. But I think even more important than the consequences in or outside of the characters are the consequences inside of them. What Vince Gilligan, the director, gets is that the decisions we make as human beings affect the person who makes the decision. So what breaks bad in the show, above all, are the characters themselves. There's a, a wonderful scene earlier on in the show, it's when Walter White, he's kind of captured one of the uh, drug guys who's trying to kill him. So that he's got him like chained up in the basement. And Walter is trying to decide, should I kill him? So he makes a list, a, pro, a list of pros and cons. On the side of pros, he says, Judeo-Christian principles, it's the wrong thing to do to kill someone. And then on the other side, he says, because he'll kill my whole family. At the end of the day, that's sort of what uh, wins it out. But here's what the character Walter White doesn't see. One of the reasons not to kill him is that Walter White will break bad, that he will become a kind of person that he doesn't want to be. So Walter uh, kills the guy, and then fast forward several seasons later, and he's killing a lot of people. You know, by the end of the, the show, he's really a, a pretty bad character. He himself is capable of tons of lying, murdering, power hungry, and he's broken bad. What I love about the show is that it follows that trajectory of not just the external consequences, but the internal consequences and in how Walter White becomes bad through his own decisions.